JustAZ.com Productions with JustAZ Aquatics. How to turn live aquarium rock into base rock. Our coral tank became infested with pests and we had to empty it out, dip the corals in coral meds and quarantine them. A likely source of the pests is live rock, that is rock on which various creatures live and reproduce. Some of these creatures are pests that damage coral and other livestock. To turn the live rock into base rock, we use an acid bath. The process takes two days and uses muriatic acid. Please use caution when using this product. Start with a water bath and a bleach bath. Mark the buckets throughout the process so there's no danger of mixing the bleach with muriatic acid, a mixture that results in toxic fumes. Fill one bucket with water for the water bath and fill the second bucket marked bleach bath with water as well. Add one part bleach to the bleach bath bucket so you have a 10 to 1 ratio, 10 parts water to one part bleach. Place a submersible pump in the bleach bath bucket to circulate the water. Swirl each rock in the water bath to remove any loose debris. Then place the rock in the bleach bath. Use gloves if your skin is sensitive to bleach. Let's take a closer look at what a live colonized rock looks like. You can see the variety of life forms on this rock and how pest eggs may be nestled in the nooks and crannies. The rock is rinsed first in the water bath and then placed in the bleach bath. The bleach is the first step in killing off the life forms. Leave the rocks in the bleach bath for 24 hours. For the acid bath, you need to first rinse the bleach off the rocks and then place them in the bucket marked muriatic acid bath. Remove the pump from the bleach bath. Take the rocks from the bleach bath and rinse them in a fresh water bath. Then place the rocks in the empty bucket marked for the muriatic acid bath. When all the rocks are in the empty bucket, fill the bucket with water. You'll use a 10 to 1 ratio, 10 parts water to 1 part acid. Before handling the muriatic acid, put on a mask or respirator and acid resistant gloves. Use a disposable glass container to measure out the acid. We used an old coffee maker carafe that we can then dispose of. Muriatic acid is a hazardous material. Please take all safety precautions when using this product. Keep all children, pets, and anyone with respiratory conditions away from this product. Carefully measure out the acid into the container. Pour slowly. The fumes are very strong and can make you feel dizzy, nauseous, or even slightly disoriented. Make sure to put the cap back onto the bottle. Stand back as you pour the muriatic acid into the bucket. The reaction is immediate and the solution bubbles up quickly. Pour slowly and add the acid in small amounts. The solution continues to bubble and you can see the scummy stuff forming along the sides and on the surface of the bubbles. That's the acid dissolving the dirt, debris and life forms on the rocks. The bubbling indicates that the acid is active. Do not touch the solution or attempt to stir it. After one to two hours, the acid bath is far less active. You can see the bubbles have somewhat dissipated and there's little activity. 
At this time, you can neutralize the acid using baking soda. Baking soda is alkaline and so counteracts the acid. You'll see the solution bubble up. This means the acid is being neutralized by the highly alkaline baking soda. Continue to add baking soda to the bucket and with your gloves on you can stir the baking soda into the solution to help the neutralizing process along. We used a paint stick to stir in the baking soda which we'll then dispose of when we're through. The acid is neutralized when you add baking soda and there is no further reaction. You can see here the water is cloudy and there's baking soda residue on the surface of the rocks. With the acid no longer active, you can remove the rocks from the bucket and prepare to rinse them and dispose of the neutralized acid solution. We used a large colander over a bucket and wearing gloves, Bob carefully poured the solution from the acid bath into a clean bucket. Do not put your hands into the muriatic acid bath bucket. With the rocks separated from the solution, you can now rinse them off with the hose. Be sure to rinse all the rocks thoroughly and then lay them out in a dry area. Rinse the rocks in batches to ensure each one is clean before laying it out. You can pour the neutralized solution onto your lawn or gravel area anywhere where it will drain away. Spray the area with the hose to further dilute the solution. Remember to follow all safety precautions during this project. Do not allow bleach and muriatic acid to mix. Use separate buckets for each solution. Wear safety gear and set up the project in a safe place, inaccessible to pets and children. The rocks are now base rocks, that is rocks without for life forms. You can cure the rocks and make them viable again for your tank. Thanks for watching.